In this episode, we're going to talk about the Leica SF58. So, here we go. We're going to turn it on. The flash is currently set to TTL, that is the most automatic mode, and it's only compatible with Leica cameras like I am, like M9, just different ones. All right, so let's go through the menus. We have uh, through the lens, which is TTL, we have universal automatic, we have a manual mode, a manual slave, and multiple flashes. Let's go back into TTL and let's mount it on the camera. Before you mount it on the camera, it's recommended that you turn it off. So let's turn off the flash. Let's bring our camera in here. And let's mount. Okay, so camera off, flash off. There you go. All right, the first thing we're gonna do now is turn the flash on and then the camera. If you noticed, the zoom changed. You heard of the zoom? It's set to 50 because we have a 50 millimeter lens attached. So the camera is talking to the flash. Let's take a photo using live view of, let's move this next strap, of the logo. There you go. Full automatic. And there it is. We didn't change anything. We just turned the camera on and it was ready to go. ISO 400, your shutter speed 90th of a second. If we increase the shutter speed, uh, let's go for example to a thousandth of a second. Normally the camera will only sync at 180. So let's try this. Let's see what happens if we go beyond the typical shutter sync. The flash didn't go. Okay, so what we need to do is change. Let's go ahead and change this. Now that the camera's on, we have a new feature and that's TTL HSS. All right, so let's select it and look at this. The camera and the flash were synchronized at a thousandth of a second. That is really, really cool. All right, let's uh, change our subject. Let's put this watch. But I'm going to show you another thing. Let's go ahead and use bounce flash. There you go. All automatically done in HSS, a thousand of a second. All right. One thing that I almost forgot is that uh, if you want to tilt or rotate the head, you have to press this button. And then this will let you disengage the lock. And then you can go ahead and just, you know, swivel and tilt. And you'll hear it click in. Okay, now what I want to show you is how you can use this flash with other cameras. It doesn't have to be a Leica. And that's one really cool thing about this thing and okay so camera is here okay so let's see what the camera is the camera is set at 200 iso the aperture is set to f8 there it is. And that's what we're gonna select on the flash. Turn it on. We go from menu. Down to automatic. Keep in mind that this is universal automatic. Now, the one thing that we still have to change is the ISO. Well, the ISO is actually set to the one same on the camera. We're just going to put the aperture at F8. So we hit set. I passed it, went too quick. There it is, F8. So now the flash knows 
how to communicate with the camera as far as that goes but the lens the flash itself is going to do all the magic for us and, and another thing we're going to do is change the head from 90 millimeter to 24 since we're working with a subject that we want to eliminate evenly there and there it is we only had to change the ISO and the aperture on the flash that's it okay so let's do another one but let's just um, bounce the flash there it is again fully automatic with an icon body like a flash now it doesn't matter what lens you mount on it it's just uh, it can be an icon flash I mean an icon camera with an icon lens and it could be any flash that is universal auto um, Nikon SB28, SB26 and there are others that I'm gonna give you a list if you're interested in buying any of those on the Leica systems you have the S24, SF24, SF20 but those don't have the head that tilts or swivels okay let's go ahead and set or show you the manual mode down into manual set manual mode kind of really defeats the purpose of all this information because really the only thing you care about is the power how much power you're gonna throw into your subject and you can control this to keep constant results nothing's ever gonna change another feature is the dual head you're gonna see that on the front of this you have two bulbs one and two one is useful to illuminate your subject from the front or you can bounce the other head you also have that setting And, you, and if you noticed, you also have the beeping sound or standby. Test light is a really, really cool thing that I find useful. And okay, and then we go back out of this and you're gonna have stroboscopic. This is a multiple flash thing where here you can select how many flashes is gonna throw and over here is the frequency is how many times per second is gonna throw the amount of flashes that you selected so for example let's hit set and let's put that we want to oh sorry I went too fast let's hit set again and let's say that we want three flashes a total of three let's go as quick as possible there are three at a rate of let's see 30 Hertz so within one second is gonna fire the amount of flashes that we decide uh, that we assigned which is three at 30 flashes per second so here we go that was pretty quick and you can go all the way to 50 on both sides and the last thing I'm going to show you is the manual slave so for that we have to dismount the camera the flash from the camera let's turn it off Set the camera aside and let's go into melt mode again we go down and we have slave we hit set and in this mode it's always going to look for another flash to go off from that so if we have another flash mounted either on the camera or on the stand at that second that the flash goes this also go in sync with it 
So that's what that is for. This is blinking just to let you know that it's in slave mode. And I want to say that that is going to be it for this video. So if you liked it, I mean, you know the drill. Give it a like and also subscribe. And I'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one.